going to put some of these blocks together so because I wanted this to be a donation I don't really want it to be the 69 by 90 that it is um, it's not that I don't like it being this big but you know I'd like to finish with the project and give it where I wanted it to go and it doesn't need to be that big so I have 11 done but I do have bits and bobs cut for the rest of them so I will eventually do them and make probably another wall hanging another lap quilt with the fabric and I can use a different gray or a white or whatever to complement this if I run out of background fabric to border it up and stuff. So what we're going to do is going to put 11 of them together in a similar pattern to what's going on between these two rows right here. Okay. And then we got enough foliage and fabric. We can fill in some empty space and have some fun. And yeah, there'll be a little bit for free motion and empty space and stuff. Hello, everybody. Hello, all of you. Happy you're here. So this is what we have been working on. This is the fourth, I think, and I don't really like to do things more than four weeks in a row or four live streams, depending on technical difficulties. And speaking of technical difficulties, we have been having issues with our internet again, and it was very fluctuating this morning, so Pop wanted me to let you guys know that if we disappear, we're terribly sorry. It's because of the internet, and we got the guys coming out tomorrow between four and six. So here's hoping. Um, the, the, it, the issue seems to be between the house and the box. So we're hoping that they deal with it this time. They discovered that the two weeks ago when we had them coming up to upgrade, but nobody did anything about it and it just seems to be getting a little worse. So I don't know what it is. So, but hopefully you didn't do it. Are you sure sassy that? <laughs> Good morning to you. Uh, no, you didn't miss the show, Sue. Unfortunately, that was supposed to be the weekend project, but due to video corruption, um, I, I don't know. I know I had it on the right setting when it hit for the video, but for some reason, when it went to go download onto Pop's PC or from in the process of in between, I don't know what happened. It just, it was not good. It was all fractured and it was really annoying. So that was weekend project. It was really cute. So there is a pattern for it. <laughs> there, it, oh, here we go. I knew I had it close. It just slipped and slided. So, uh, I will, uh, I will, we'll talk about it a little bit later in the show as we're, we're progressing here, but it is a pattern that we bought, uh, via Elaine Summercraft or summercraft.com and, um, yeah, summercraft.com and, uh, it's a 2015 pattern and we will do, be doing this as a, uh, probably now as a live stream on a weekend uh, weekend project sort of live stream on the weekends on Saturdays uh, to to build that whole quilt out. So I just kind of did one. I wanted to do it as a, like a little bit of a wall hang scrappy because I like scrappy, but I would like to stick more to um, the color codes for these ones when I'm doing out the quilt. And we'll do a wave at that time too. I, it just, unfortunately the boo-boo of the corruption made me think we're just gonna do this as the next uh, project for the live stream. So get your fabrics cut two and a half and three. That's what you need. It, it, it's very cute, isn't it, Rachel? Very cute. I just wanted to accept them for the shop because I like scrappy and I like, I think you, um, seahorses are uh, adorable. They're super cute. And uh, with the mix of the yellow and the greens and the blues, eh, I thought it, I thought it, I thought it was pretty cool. It is very frustrating, you know, because I know I've, I, I spent 25 minutes talking about it and cutting it, putting it together on video, and then it just goes poofy. So it's very irritating on my part, but I know on Pop's part because he wants to be consistent with the videos and he wants to always have something there. So I thought we'd talk about it for a little bit, and then maybe when we got more people in the chat, uh, we'll talk about it again a little bit. And then, like I say, well, that'll be next week's. So we'll start that, and we'll do the whole quilt. We bought the pattern, so we might as well make it, and we can we can do it. So bust your scraps. 
And you could do more. You could do more seahorses because this measures 48 by 54. So you could do another one and that would be like 60 something, you know, do four of them, do five of them, you know, have them swimming all the way around. So have going around in a circle. I like that. With something different in the middle, like an octopus or something. Mm, call it a test run, exactly. I, I kind of like, I wanted to, to test the pattern, but I thought if I just did it as a wall hanging and gave an idea about it, and then we would per progress later on in the year about it, but since this one, the video kind of buggered up, well, we'll do it as a project. Aw, aw, that's okay, Kelly. The video will be there. We'll think about you, I promise. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hello, Nancy. Hello, everybody. Hello, Pauline, Gwenny. We've been away for four weeks. Missed so much. Hello, everyone. I missed, I missed phoning you. Uh, when I was in Calgary, I literally was in, do, 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 out. I literally spent time with my nieces, my mom, and then it was majority as with my sister after the, the party, the surprise party, and then I had to fly home. So it was, I didn't even get to see my best friend of like 30 years there. So he was, him and his wife were a little mad. <laughs> Not mad, but just, you know, disappointed. I didn't get a chance to pop out or, or they didn't get a chance to pop up. So pop, could the link be in our mafia group, please? I can't link, uh, click links in the iPad without leaving live stream. Okay. Link for what? Which one are you looking for? We'll put the links when we start doing the video next week, all the information towards this. Hi, LL, the measurements are not correct. For what? Oh, is that the QOV? Uh, yeah, you, we'll ha you can have it. Well, you can't have the pattern. You'll have to go to the uh, place and buy it. It's only 10, um, uh, but you can do whatever you like with it like I did. I made a wall hanging and now we're gonna do a quilt and the, then the fun waves with it too, so. Ba -ba All right. Um, but what were you talking about measurements? What's up with that, Robin? Seahorse? The measurements are correct. Why? You use, uh, it says you can use a charm pack because you need two and a half and you need a th couple three inch squares. That's about it. Mm hmm. Two, two. Oh, I'll put the link in the mafia group uploads. Okay, okay. Hello, Lise. Happy you're here. No, don't don't apologize. It's all the the measurements are fine. There's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong wrong with the measurements. I had no issues with it. And that's what the size it comes out with. So that would be the one size of the seahorse. I didn't alter it in any way. I didn't shorten the pattern. I didn't stretch it out or anything. That would be one size. So I thought I looked at it and I thought, well, geez, that seems like a pretty good size. That would be a nice little wall hanging or even a, a pillow for a couch or, uh, you know, a wall hanging for a beach cottage or something like that or bulk it out a few times. Baby quilt. Yep. June. <laughs> it would make a cute thing for a nursery, you know. Seahorses are adorable. All right. So... We have a few things to do on two of the giraffes here. So let's put finish putting these faces together. And then I will show you all, I think it's 11 that I have. It's either 10 or 11. Hello, Holly. Happy you're here. Hello, Anna. Hello, Steph. Hello, Sue. Hello, Cecilette and Anna. Really excited to say I was blessed with a new baby granddaughter on the 23rd of April named Victoria Rose in Albert. Aww, congratulations. Victim, I have a niece named Victoria, so I'm very partial to the name. It's very beautiful. And in fact, whenever we traveled and I saw street signs that were the names of my nieces or family members, I would take pictures of them and then send them the picture. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute because I was thinking of them, obviously. And there was one, there was one place I got to stand on this, on a street corner that was named, it was, um, Brooke and Victoria and it was the crossing and I said, I'm like, look, I got the two of you here with me. It was funny. <laughs> I, I bet she is. Hello, Nadine. It's break time. We had a box that went, uh, kind of missing at the mailbox. 
It was it was said it was going to be there, and then it, it it wasn't there, and then it was there, and anyways, but we did find it, and it had some lovely treats from Susan Webb, and I will just open it up here real quick so you can see. She sent us all sorts of goodies. The boys don't even know about this yet because I just opened it up just before the stream, and a lovely card. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. <coughs> And the cutest little socks that say pedal to the metal. Like, come on. <laughs> That's silly me. <laughs> to the floor, baby. <laughs> and they're Moda socks. Aren't they cute? I can't wait to wear them. I'm wearing them tomorrow. I'm wearing them tomorrow. <laughs> and then this a cute little cat pad. I didn't even look at it. I didn't open it yet because I wanted to share it with you guys. Oh, oh, it's a couple. Oh, oh, we can probably board these out a few times. Oh, aren't they cute? Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so cute. That kind of looks like Mr. Clive, just a little bit more. It has a little bit too much white, but that's okay. I love it. Look at those cute kitties. Cute kitties with the pretty green eyes. Oh, my. Oh, and they're sleeping. In the seeds. <laughs> Very cute. Thank you so much. And then some Easter chocolates. Uh, bunny kisses and Easter wishes from Russell Stouffer's. Both of them Russell Stouffer's. So the boys will be loving the pecan delights and I will be totally loving the caramel and mint patties. Because <laughs> they can have those two and I can have the other ones. Unfortunately, when it comes to me having a nut allergy, they, they get whatever is left over and I get the good stuff. <laughs> Cause that's the way it should be. <laughs> I didn't ask for that allergy. <laughs> so thank you very much for that, Susan. I can't wait to put a project together with that quilt, with that panel. All those cute little kitty cats. Meow, meows. I know, what a nice treat. So yes, we'll have a nice little, that'll be dessert for like the next week because we haven't really been buying any dessert or anything like that. So we've been really good. We've just been eating our dinner and just been satisfied. Some of us, anyway. <laughs> not all of us. Uh, oh, oh, as usual, uh, not too bad, thanks. Oh, okay, good, good. <clears throat> Everybody's good today? The panel is super cute. OMGs. What's the kitties? I knew there was kitties on it, but I didn't realize how many kitties. That, that, if you border that out, <clears throat> you trim it out, and you add a nice compli complimentary color, even if it was just something complimentary to that square of with the kit kitty fabric on it, or like the, the panel. And then uh, that makes a very nice colorful quilt and you can bulk it out real fast, especially if you put like two or three inches all the way around. Make it like a little picture frame. Make it look like a little picture frame on a wall. So these giraffes have been very time consuming. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't think I've, I felt a little bit more defeated by any project today. Actually, no, Pop is got work to do, unfortunately. Um, Monday is not n normally a holiday around here, but because school was off and Friday was off, I asked Pop to take a four-day weekend, right, which would have been Friday, Good Friday, and then Easter Monday. So... Unfortunately, when you kind of take a few days off in a row, there's work to catch up on. So he's got a few hours to put together this weekend. And I said to him, well, could you do some during the live stream? He said, only if Mudgkin helped out with switching cameras and stuff. I'm like, well, then I think Mudgkin can hopefully help out. So, and he is. So everybody say hi to Mudgkin. He's working the cameras today. Hello, LP. Hello, Pauline. Uh, those would make some huge Polaroids, laugh out loud. These ones here? <laughs> oh, oh, you meant the cat blocks, I'm sorry. Ooh, I didn't mean that way, <laughs> but that would be. <laughs> Actually, in fact, when we were cleaning up the, the basement, we came across the red and black Polaroid, so I flipped it open and went, smile! <laughs> and the boys were like. <laughs> they were too thrilled. <laughs> it was okay. I got a giggle. That's all that mattered. <laughs> Hello, Lucy B. It's Lucy from Oxford. Very excited to have caught you live. We're happy you're here, too. Do, 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 do. 
We're happy you're here too. I'm just finishing up a couple of more giraffe faces. And I've mixed and matched the fabrics in my own fun. Look, there's an orange one up here. Put the pink ones outside the ears. I've, I've had some fun because I can. And it told me I could, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pat Raymond Schneider. Two vowels go a walking. The second one does the talking. Is that the right one, or is the first one does the talking? Now I can't remember. Hello, Rose. So, what's everybody doing today? We had snow this morning. Just gonna allow, say a little peace and quiet there for a moment. We had snow. <sighs> Listen, Mother Nature, it's not funny. Grass has started to turn because we've had so much rain and we've had little bursts of sunshine and warmth and, and then it's snow. Seriously? Second, second one, okay. There we go, I thought so, I thought so. But then when I sang it, I thought I got it wrong. <laughs> I was like, hey, wait a second. May I'm probably wrong and I don't want to offend. Uh, I know. You had a little flurry? Well, that's kind of what happened-ish. It did blow, actually it blew the barbecue around on the deck. It was moved about two feet. And um, we had a little uh, bag of um, like um, iced tea cans uh, that Munchkin brought up from the basement. And they were on the other side as well. I was like, whoa, how'd you get over here? Very cute. Oh my goodness. I like the mix of colors. I should have started off with mixing colors, but you know, it's hard for me sometimes when the pattern tells you to do this and do that. And you know. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Sue Smith. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say a little prayer for you. Hello, Claire. Happy you're here. Hello, Betty. Hello, Joe Marie. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just, <laughs> I saw your name and I forgot to call you back yesterday. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a very busy day with pickups. I apologize. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it here? Or do you want me to call you after the live stream? <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe Marie. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Yeah, it's very sorry, Sue. That's that's horrible. That he he passed away, but he's not in pain anymore. You have to think of that too. I'm sure you have. I keep my thoughts to myself. I'm sorry. Sometimes you just don't know what to say. Yes, thanks to Munchkin for helping out. Well, he wasn't having much fun because, like I said, the internet was being very uh, flexy wexy today. So it's kind of like, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, call whenever looking for our lunch. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can do that. We can. <laughs> I meant to, and then I had my four o'clock pickup 20 minutes early, which threw me off. And then Pop came home early, and then we were still trying to decide on dinner. And it was like, oh, whatever. I, I, I apologize. I meant to. I meant to. Um, all right. Let's uh, look and see. Why does it seem a little high there? Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see and look at our, all our little giraffers. Mm -hmm, all these hard workers. You gotta think, there's almost an hour and a half to two hours in every giraffe, okay? Here, let's just lay them down first and then I'll show them all. And then the seahorse can kind of stand out a little bit more. I got different foliages and matching foliages. Okay. All right. Pook, pook. Okay. All right. 
right, so we'll go through, we'll show all of them, okay? Mixing the match and the seams and the whatevers. So, okay. So there's that one. Uh-oh. Cool. There's that one. Just keep showing them. This is one of my favorites. I love the little orange hedgehogs for some reason. And this one too. <laughs> they are cute. And they could pass for a moose too. You know, if you did a different antler or something here, they totally could pass for a moose. There we go. Okay, now let's make sure I had what I was thinking in my head. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, okay. There was, so we're going to do eleven. We're going to make eleven into a uh, lap quilt or wall hanging. It's going to be similar. Whatever. It's going to be cool. Don't you worry. And then we got all our foliage. I'll spread those out here so you can see them. I did some matching, like I said I was going to. And I did some crazy wazy, like I said I was going to, because I can. And I will. That cute. So cute. <laughs> Turning mine into lawn chair covers. They are looking good. Just need to quilt and finish. Lawn chair covers. Turning one into lawn chair covers, but I like the idea. Oh, I, I followed the pattern to build them out, but from there I can do whatever I like, right? And because I have an idea where I want this to go to, you know, 60 by 90 seems pretty big to be for a, sh um, a veterinarian clinic. So, you know, I think 11 would be a good size. A good size. We'll see how it turns out. Doo -doo. Oh, scrappy clothes. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Number three is your favorite color. Uh oh, hold on. How did I lay this out? One, two, three. Oh, this one with uh, that uh, orange background with the red cross hatching. That's super cute. <laughs> super cute. I like this one because it almost looks like he's trying to be giraffe slash raccoon. You know what I mean? Like the bandit giraffe. <laughs> and with his co pilot. <laughs> I don't know. It looked cute to me. <laughs> All right, so I cut two and a half inch strips to go in between the uh, sashing uh, of the drafts and the foliage because that's what they said in here. And if I follow the instructions somewhat, think of Ninja Turtles. That, yeah, actually, I didn't even think of that. Hmm. Teenage Mutant Ninja Giraffes. Dun, dun, dun. Can you imagine the karate kicks with those long legs? <laughs> Headbutts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. The things that come, we come up with on this channel. Who's paying attention? Come on, Disney or DreamWorks. Come on, make it happen. <laughs> we can come up with character names and backgrounds in no time flat. Trust us, we're, we're creative. All right, so what I want to do is I really like this giraffe foliage, giraffe foliage, and then if I line it up here, I can put three giraffes in a row without any foliage, and then do another two giraffes and foliage, but I can switch them over to the other sides, put the foliage here and then giraffe, you know what I mean? So, and it would still line up to where I want it to be, working within these two patterns here that line up, right? So you can pick and choose, but I noticed that those two actually lined up, so I'm just going to kind of repeat that and then allow for one giraffe to be by himself, maybe on the bottom or somewhere in the middle with extra gray space as filler because I have the, the rest of the fabric here too. So I can, I can do that. <laughs> too dangerous, gonna be knock somebody out. 
Long legs of doom. That's what they would call them. Those are cute, aren't they? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, I have more than enough, more than enough. I can like surround one or two with extra foliage. All right, so how do I wanna lay these out? Because I have, I don't wanna put all the mixy matches together. I kinda wanna, I don't know. Let's start with those two. Okay, let's do this guy, put him in the upper left-hand corner, and we'll put sashing in between. So we need uh, one, two, three, four pieces of sashing that are mm -hmm, 14 inches long. That seems to be, let's take an average here. Seems almost 15, so maybe 14 and a half. Mm -hmm. I'm not trimming anything off because then I'm going to lose any bit of antler or, or, or the part of the muzzle. So 14, it's like 14 and a half. Okay, so let's cut some at 14 and a half. Oh, where are you going here? Is everybody good? Is everybody good? Are you going to participate if, uh, if you get your fabrics ready for this, the one that we're going to do next week? The seahorses? Yeah, it'd be fun. It was a little, you had to kind of think outside the box a little bit with it. So I think it might be a good video to do. Cause I was like, I, mean, I don't know. It didn't seem like it was filling in completely on the information wise, but maybe it was just because of the way I was looking at it or reading it. So it could be completely my fault. I'm, I'm not saying it's their fault, but I think it would be fun to do the full one instead of just doing the a one. Do it fabulous. I love that. Do it fab of course, I had my own sound effects. Hopefully, you're that fabulous. Where's the pattern for the seahorse? It is from Summer Crafter by Elaine Perez. It says number 105 on it. It says watercolor seahorses. Um, summercrafter.com. www.summercrafter.com. Hopefully, that helps. We will have it, a link for it next weekend when we uh, start doing the video. And we'll put a whole quilt together. And we'll bust our scraps. We'll have to find a common background though because I don't want that mixed. So a soft blue, softer than that one. Oh, the only reason why I chose that one because I had enough to do that project. So, so I'll have to go, uh, Papa and I'm already dragging him out tomorrow to the fabric store, or this afternoon to the fabric store. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. These should be the same, aren't they? Please tell me they're the same. Oh yeah, all right, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I liked this one in the corner, but this one actually had a piece on the outside too. What was that piece? Mm-hmm. A little bit thinner, but I will make it two and a half. Okay. 110 inches, what, 101 inches? Oh, is that temperature? Oh, geez, I hope not. Us Canadians cook at that. We'll be like Canadian bacon in about 20 minutes. We taste delicious though, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it's not good for us. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it was a very cute project. Unfortunately, the video didn't work out for weekend project. It was corruption. So that's why it's hanging on the wall and we're gonna do it now as a uh, live stream for a few weeks and put a seahorse quilt together. I think that would be cute. Very animal friendly this, this year so far. <laughs> well, we've done the weave a bee. What else was it? Weave a bee. Oh, and then there was the uh, rainbow log cabin. And then we've had now the giraffes and, um, and then we'll have seahorses. They're actually, uh, one of our, our, our lovely fans sent me an image of a um, zebra that would fit right in this. So I may decide, I may not finish the last row and stick a zebra in there with the last little giraffe. 
So it seemed like the face would fit along with it. So it wasn't a whole giraffe. It was just a face of a uh, sorry, a face of a zebra, um, and it would fit, I, I think, quite well with that. All right, so I'm just going to pin on a few sides, and then we we can add the greens, the foliage, the fur and fauna, flora and fauna, not fur and fauna. <laughs> If we are requesting, I request a moose pattern. I have a moose here at the farm and I've been, I've be, begun the moose into many things. I've begun turning mooses into many things. You make a mooses all, all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Hello Anne, how are ya? All right, so, okay, so we wanna put a green, hmm, because this is mixy matchy, let's stick this one there. Okay, that one there, and then one on the side, let's do this one. Okay, I think we got a first row planned. So excited, got a first row planned. Oh, maybe not, I think we're short one. Oh yeah, we want one on the outside of our green. Yes, we do. Feedy body body boo, yes we do. So what's everybody got going on for dinner? I, I wasn't hungry for lunch because I made a late breakfast. We didn't eat breakfast until like 10 and I'm like good for hours after if I have a late breakfast. Um, but Pop and Munchkin made themselves some lunch, but I wasn't hungry. But what's going on for, for dinner? I wanna know what's going on for dinner. Give me some ideas. If we go to the fabric store, then we're gonna go grab something while we're out. Maybe fish and chips or... I haven't had fish and chips in a while. I like cod. I actually like cod, halibut, haddock. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. I like. I like all sorts of fish, except for tuna. Tuna in a can. Tuna in a can just not good. I don't know. It smells weird. <laughs> it smells funky. It smells. I don't know. That tuna in a can. That tuna in the can looks a little funny to me. I'd rather have salmon. -y. Exactly, Helly. I've been in it's it was inspiring and I didn't uh, want to uh, I pointed it out to Pop and I said, hey, I'd like to really do this as a weekend project. What do you think about this? He goes, oh, great. Is there a pattern out there? I said, yes, it's here. And he said, okay, then let's go buy it and we'll link it and we'll share it. And I'm like, okay. So that's what we did. It was $10. And it puts in our collection. We can keep reusing it and using it and using it. And it's there and we help promote them. And you never know, maybe she might give us more patterns in the future to do. So... Or she may say, hey, you did a great job. She was really happy about it, so. Who was? The creator. The creator? Oh, she was? Yeah. Oh, well, thanks, Pop. Oh, wow. Sweet! So you have, even better, the fact that we're making a, uh, we're gonna do a few weeks show on it and put it all together. It's worthy, it's a beautiful, I love the seahorse. And they come together really fast. Really, you're laying out squares of two by two. Blah, 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 done. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I make it sound so easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's bibbidi bobbidi boop, come on! <laughs> oh, Sassalette, it's too early, oh my gosh. Of course you're not thinking of dinner. What do you, what do you normally have for breakfast? What do you normally, what's, what's your go-to? I made Pop and I pea meal, bacon, toast, and fried eggs over medium. They were trying to be over easy, but I was, took too long to butter the toast. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, c'est la vie, it's only toast, it's only eggs. It still tasted good and nobody complained, so. Um, uh, that was, that's kind of usually what I make us on the weekend. Sometimes I'll make us pancakes, I think it was pancakes. Easter weekend it was, because Munchkin said he didn't like waffles, or he didn't want waffles, so I went to the effort to make pancakes and he didn't even get up for it, so that was a little annoying, but whatever. Um, so. Accommodate. Uh, 
And the chickens are good. They've been laying eggs. Oh, it was so good to have one of their, or a couple of their fresh eggs this morning. There we go. There's a, a giraffe and some foliage. You can't stand eggs? Oh, I love eggs. I love eggs. That's cute, isn't it? I like that. Mm-hmm, adorable. All right, now do this, and then we'll press our row, and then we'll see how wide it's gonna be. And then uh, we'll go from there. We can always bulk it out with some colors. Right? <laughs> Pop sneaking in the kitchen. Someone asked to share my, for me to share my chocolate uh, icing recipe. I can't. <laughs> it's my secret. That, and then, if you know the secret of the chocolate icing, then you know pretty much the secret to the chocolate cake, and that just can't happen. No, no, no. I think I have some secrets. <laughs> Katie she is lovely to have in the live stream and when we when she's not here I truly miss her so I hope you're feeling that you're feeling the love Sassila I'm looking at you blink blink with the love <laughs> exactly I'd be all ninja skills on you right Valerie Gail <laughs> ninja skills Get these giraffes to teach me some <laughs> ninja skills. <laughs> Smoothie for over two weeks. I haven't, uh, if there's one thing that I have been craving and I haven't had the chance to satisfy, is it, I know it probably sounds weird and maybe a lot of the people don't like it, but it's Peking duck. I like duck with, it's like a rice wrap and green onions and cucumber and the, like the duck sauce and wrapped up in a little, you know, ricey wrap and, oh, it's delicious. And I haven't had that in like a very, very, very long time. And I would love it, but I can't find any place that does it. There's only a place in Calgary and they don't even exist anymore. I went and looked. <laughs> it was on the one place I wanted to look. At least it was in that uh, section of town. Uh, I thought it was so funny because you know when you travel and your phone tracks where you are. So it said uh, where I was for March. So I went and zoomed it. So it said Google. And I'm like, okay, where was it for March? Where did I spend? I literally was just in the northeast section of Calgary. That's all I went. Do, 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 do. That was it. <laughs> it was off to see mom, off to see my sister, off to see my nieces, off to see mom. Yeah, it was funny. We just all within the one little like 20 minute space of each, uh, around each other. <laughs> I did not go far. <laughs> did not go far. Vicky, my hubby made brownies with lots of, oh, well, see, I can't have nuts. Why have to go ruin it? <laughs> Tell them next time, Laura Lynn would like some without nuts. Because I can't eat my own kind, apparently, according to Pop. <laughs> nope, nope, I can't. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, Sue, I just wanted to let this group know how comforting it is that we have dick. Oh, mixed Big hogs, like seriously, if I could squish you right now, I'd squish a little bit. And just let you know that you are loved and you are hugged and you are thought of, you and your family. And we are here for you if you need to chat, to vent, to talk, whatever. We, we are here. We are here for you as a big family. We'll stitch you back together with thread and some glue. <laughs> well, maybe not the glue part. Well, the glue would be easier than a needle and a thread, so <laughs> maybe just glue. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, I think that is lovely size. What we got going on here, mateys? We got 46. Six ish, 46 and a half. That's going to be lovely. And four rows. Mm hmm. 
I think that's super cute. All right, let's, uh, do we want to do one across the top? Yeah, let's do one across the top. Make sure we got accurate measurements. 46 and a bit. I know, isn't that cute? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. 40, so let's do 46. Okay, so let's do one of these. And we're going to need probably one of these. Yes, exactly. Okay. We'll do that across the top. And then we'll make the next row, which will be three together without any foliage. So we need to kind of really pick what we want going on there. So maybe we might keep one of those mixy matchy dudes down to the side. Put that there. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe that one, that one, and that one. Do we think those three are okay together? Because there's, there's only just a little bit of sashing in between. What is DD? It says three inches. I did two and a half. Hmm. Well, we'll leave that open for a little bit of interpretation on the other side. Oh, you can't really see this one. Here, hold on. There, there. And there, that's for the next row. It'd have to be three of them together with a little bit of sashing in between. But the light one in the middle, this one. Because the other one being a little bit on the pinky red side, I didn't want it to be up over here, but I do like the orange there. Kind of cute, I like that. Oh. That's the top row. Does that look all right? Because then these kind of match. Or is that too much? Should I put, maybe put this one over? I don't know. Here, let's switch these out and see how it looks. better yeah yeah I think that I, yeah yeah you guys too think they like that one better okay all right we'll sew the piece for the top here yeah I like that one better too it's a little bit more attractive to the eyeball all right so Let's put the two and a halfers in between and then we'll leave the outside to be negotiated with the proper size. is so light I can barely see mom. Oh really? Hmm, must be the gamma, is it gamma? Is it the gamma that's on? Okay, let's put this one here. Hanging out is Deborah. Looks great, thank you. <laughs> just put a pin on each corner just to kind of make sure I'm making sure everything's going in between. It's cute.
it's it's been it's been a long not a long project but it's 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 been there <laughs> I didn't expect it to take like an hour and a half to two hours to put a block together. And that's not even really with the cutting. You're, that's not even the cutting time, right? So, oops. Okay, now we'll put you, because the pink was in the middle. I think it's super cute too. Uh, well, it's gonna go, I'm hoping to go for a silent auction or something for the Graham's Animal Hospital that's just down the street from us. Like I said, the, uh, they've helped us a few times with uh, Sophie and Clive, obviously, uh, getting their regular meds. Uh, but when Clive got hurt and we, they helped us with that. And then of course the, the duck, we call the $200, $180 duck. <laughs> And she's a lovely lady. She's had that forever and a day at the hospital. And uh, she just has a true love of animals, so. Uh, oh, that looks cute. Yeah, exactly. And they know everybody, you know, and everybody loves their fur babies, like. Their fur babies are number one. They're, they're, it's like they're, they're children. It's been really windy out here the past three days. It's been super windy. And chilly. That's those three together. That's super cute. Oh, sleep well, Rachel. Get some sleep. I need to be up and out the door. Oh, under four hours. Oh my goodness. How do you do that? I can't. I can't. I can't. I need, I need, I need, I need sleep. <laughs> I need it. Body shut down. I, that's, that's me, ass pop. He's seen it <laughs> many times. Too tired to function, shut down, crash. Crash, bang, boom. All right, those are cute. Oh, and I'm loving those colors together. And that's super cute. It must be adorable in the little iron camera. Must be adorable. So cutesy pies. Be fun to quilt in here too. Just some like little swirls and stuff like that and then go around the foliage. Yeah, I think that would be nice. All right, let's go press the other guys here. And then we'll do a measurement. Super cute. It's one of my favorites. I like the orange one here. Soup, of course threads everywhere. Threads are just a given. It's just what happens. Just what happens. Yeah, there's lots of tiny pieces. Let's put it that way. Lots of tiny pieces. All right, so. That is only 42 and we need 46. So if we put two and a half by two and a half on either side, we should be okay. So with the original um, cut assumption, which is that, that is not enough. It's okay. We will cut more. We have the capabilities. We have the tools. All is well. And Sophie snores. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> She's so funny, I tell you. Cracking me up. She cracking me up. So what was it? 
14 and a half, okay. <coughs> Sorry, now I got a tickle. Because I tried to snore. All right, so one on either side, and then we can add <coughs> our two rows together. <coughs> I know, Deanne, right? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I apologize. <coughs> I hope so. I hope she likes it. It'll be a surprise. Like I said, she <coughs> drives past me every morning. And she always waves. She's super sweet. Yeah, when Clive got hurt and <coughs> we called, sorry, he was in there right away. <coughs> I apologize. Jeepers, creepers. I shouldn't have tried to snore. <sighs> Deep, calming breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. It's Lorlin's meditation time and sewing. Um, cue the chimes and grab your teacup. <laughs> Ding! Today's Zen moment is forgiving the seam ripper. <laughs> Well, Sophie does, especially when she's like totally out, out. And we did play uh, Frisbee for a little bit. In fact, my cheeks were a little bit rosy when I first came uh, back in. I had about three minutes till um, the live stream. So went and checked in on Pop and Munchkin, make sure we were all good to go. And then turned the mics on and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's quilting time. Exactly. All right, so this hopefully, with me adding those two little bits on the ends, should be my 46 and a bit. Yeah, 46 and a bit. Okay, we can add, oh, we need a border in between, a piece in between. Okay, so here. And most likely here. This is too short, is it? Nope, I can go there. It's the short pieces. No, nope, that's a long piece there. There we go, there's the short pieces. I have to get the backing and batting first. That's about 130 to save my pennies first. I have the baby quilt to get quilted first and then the new grandson due in July. Wow. You're busy, Sassolette. Watching you make the giraffes inspires me to find the fancy forest pattern and make a smaller version. You should. Even if you just pick the two or three or four characters that you like the most, work on those. Make a sampler. And then you have it for your collection. If you decide to do a whole quilt for somebody one day, it's done and you learned from that little sampler, right? So, and you can build it up and quilt it up in any way you like. So I hope, I'd love to see it, Deanne. I'd love to see what you're doing. <laughs> now I made the pick worse than before. It looks like negative from taking, oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> I don't know what happened, Vicky. <laughs> because I know the forest critters. I actually have the one from Lorna McMahon. She's actually the one who did the beaver in part of her collection. And she's got like a moose, a deer, a rabbit, some paw, paw prints. Um... I know she's got an American Eagle. 
Um, that's why she did the Canadian beaver. There's a few in there, and I have the whole pattern, and I would love to do it one day, and it may end up being a live stream, but it would probably be like a six-month live stream um, <laughs> uh, to, get it, to get it done because it, it it's a beautiful project, and I, I don't see why we can't do it. We can do it. We just got to give ourselves the time. We can do it. We can. Yeah, it's cute. It's a really cute project. Okay, so we needed 46 and a wee bit ends. Mm -hmm. Sasslight, have a have you looked at fabric.com? Good bargains at times on there and postage isn't too bad from America to the UK. Well, she's in Australia, so I don't know how that would work. Apparently it's really, exp well, I can I can attest to sending sending quilts and stuff there. It, it has been pretty expensive, um, but I'm not complaining. Just saying postage wise, postage is, is expensive. Well, yeah, I'm not complaining in any way, shape or form. So please don't take it that I am. I, we never have, we never will complain about, um, uh, sending uh, items to people who legitly won them. So that's that's not why I was making the comment. It's just like in general, postage is expensive no matter what. I mean, even to send that uh, movie quilt to uh, my sister Lisa was like, I don't know, $38 or something like that. And that's two provinces away. Like, come on, can't you put it on the U-Haul, uh, uh, Greyhound and it'll be there in like 18 hours? I should be lucky to be out of Ontario in 18 hours headed in that direction. Oh, I really poked my finger. Blood, sweat, and tears involved in this quilt. Blood, sweat, and tears. Oh, this is gonna look so cute. Oh, I love these giraffers, but I'll be happy to be done with the giraffers. Just saying. Next project, seahorses. And then we'll go back to doing one of our kits because we got a couple more to do. Mm. Okay, let's pin that one. Let's do another pin over here. Pin as many times as you need. If you know you got the right piece lengthwise, pin at the one corner, pin at the next, flip it floppy out like, you know, wiggle woggle it till it kind of evens itself out, pin in the center and then work those ones on either side to work the fabric in. And that'll fit, make her fit. If you know all these pieces in between are square, then that'll, that'll square it up in the process as you, as you making it, putting it together, right? I know, so more expensive, right? What fabric stores do you go to? Uh, uh, fabric Land in Orangeville, which I'll be hitting later today if Pop's still in the mood after the live stream, or we'll be doing it tomorrow around lunchtime, um, and, uh, or, or Lens Mills. But I haven't been to Lens Mills in a while because it's in Guelph, and it's, it's about 45 minutes away, and I, it's an hour and a half back and forth, and then the time spent there, I haven't had a lot of time to spend that in the past few weeks. Um, to be, I'm trying to catch up on stuff, so. But, you know, if I can't find what I need at Fabricland, we'll be going to Lens Mills because we'll have no choice because I have to pick it up no matter what, either today or tomorrow. I'm sure Corrine Cranick would love to get her log cabin rainbow quilt and she liked blue flannel, so I'm on the search for blue flannel. But it's got to be the right blue flannel to go with this quilt. So, because she likes blue. She didn't say specific kind of color blue, but I'm looking for something that really matches this quilt. Oops, I got a pin in my belly. Pin in my belly. And I'd love to finish it up and get it on for Long Arm Wednesday. And so you can see my idea, what I have planned for each square. I've got a pattern stitch out in each square it's going to do and I'm changing the color of thread for, for if it's an orange square, it's got orange thread. If it's a blue square, it's got blue thread. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a fun one. I loves it. Okay, 
Now, let's put this one on the bottom. Feedy bitey body bottom. Put it on the bottom. And then we'll attach row two. Scooby dooby doo row two. Foods here are foods here, so I'm going to sign up. Oh, what you having for food? Bye, Lois. Share with us, Lois. Just draw the seahorse. We'll try to make it on a baby corner. <laughs> <coughs> well, you know what you could do? If you want, if you really like that shape or any sort of animal shape. You can take a scrap fabric, a big chunk of it, and sew your bits and bobs all over it, all your scrappy fabrics, crazy, 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 make it mixy matchy, all sorts of directions, applique it, lace it, button it, whatever, and then take that shadow effect, or that shape of, the, say, the bunny rabbit, a bunny rabbit, take it and place it on that whole scrappy bit, cut it out, and boom, put some buttons for eyes, and you got a fantastic project for the wall, all with busted your scraps, and you just, made a scrappy whole square, but then cut a character out of it, or cut a shape out of it, or cut a loon out of it, or a, a, a sun and mountains, or fish, or whatever, you know? The, whole, the only thing is limiting you is, your, is you, right? So open up your mind, think about your scraps, Think about what you got. You may have some ugliest, hideous, you know, yellow fabric that you're never gonna use because it's super thin and it's weird. Use that as the base to build off of. Use that as the stabilizing fabric. Don't go out and buy stabilizing fabric when you probably have some something in your stash that could deal or do with that as a substitute, right? We all have some of those funky fabrics. We're like, where the heck did we get this? Was it a discount? Did I find it at the Sally Ann? Was this a pair of pants I chopped up? Like, what is going on? So use those. Use those to build your base off of. Use that as your foundation piecing. Only limitation is... I hope you filled it in. <laughs> your imagination. Actually, I think I said in the video for the uh, seahorse, it would make a great wall hanging, a growth chart, uh, so a name for the bedroom door of the munchkin, or even an entrance to the bathroom. Uh, you know, who would want a nice, cool wall hanging like that? So, hey, where's the bathroom? Oh, just look for the seahorse. There you go. Look for the seahorse. I found the seahorse. This must be the bathroom. <laughs> Hello. People haven't seen you forever. Come here. Come here, old man. Come on, come on. Just put two paws up and I'll help you. Come on, old man. No, don't put on my pillow, on my petal, not pillow. There we go, hi. Say hi, I'm Mr. Clive. There, we got, oh, I put him in the other camera. Put him in the uh, the iron cam or the sew camera. Mm. I think the giraffe totally could be a growth chart. You do one head and make a long neck. That would be awesome. Uh, go look for free coloring book patterns or go to the dollar store and get a couple of coloring books and or coloring book patterns online. That's where I got the bunny and the pig from and they're free. They're free coloring book pages. So you can copy that as much as you like, color it, do whatever you need. They're free. There's no trademark on them. So, Mr. Clive. <laughs> Hi, Clive. Is she nice to you? Just tell he is. He's doing a tell. He says, Mommy loves me. She's the only one who gives me treats. She's the only one who lets me in and out. She's the only one who loves me unconditionally. Not really. No, that's all munchkin. I have some hostile feelings towards the cat sometimes. <laughs> right? Right, Mr. Clive? Hmm? Right? Can people see you? <laughs> Are you done? You out of here? You busting out of this joint? Here, let me lay, let you down gently. There you go. Cause you old man. You old man, Mr. Clive. Yeah, don't buy ugly fabric. But if you happen to buy ugly fabric, use it as a foundation for your next project. Don't waste it. No, don't do that. All righty, McFriday. Okay, so if I do this and flip this. We're good to go, okay. We're good to go.
A cute, yeah, exactly. Center of a pillow or quillow. Quillow? What's a quilt pillow? Is that, yeah, is that what you mean? Is that what you mean? Look how perfect that matched up. I didn't even have to go like fight for it or anything. I love this. This is a great lap quilt. 46? Who wouldn't love a 46? Seriously? 46 to get cuddled under? Mm, I had to stop for Mr. Klein. <laughs> he does require his loving daily, you know. I feel like he's got this hardy toity like Mr. Um, uh, from Gilligan's Island, you know, Mr. I can't remember his name. But you, you, you'll, you'll think of it. I know you will. You'll say it in the chat. Um, from Gilligan's Island. He's like, moi. You know, I leave like some treats now. Thank you. <laughs> That's how I think his accent is. <laughs> if he could talk, that's how Mr. Clive would talk. <laughs> In my mind. <laughs> Mr. Howell, there we go, Mr. Howell. Mr. Howell. I like some trees, like one more. And I would mate, might let you pet me for four minutes. It's been three minutes and two seconds, I must go. <laughs> the sun is calling me. <laughs> I'm such a mean pet owner. Make fun of my animal. <laughs> oh, sorry. Can you take those pages to an office supply store and have them enlarge it? Well, what pages? Mm. Yeah, exactly. Meow has that accent. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> what pages are you talking about? What's up, Biggie? What's pages? Oh, the coloring book. Ah, uh, probably. I wouldn't see why. Are you, actually, you know what the best place to take them to? Is the library. They always got a copy at the library, and it's way cheaper than the staples or whatever, the copy places. The library. Take it there. They got, all, they got the best machine at the library. Have you made a quillow on here? I don't think so, Vicky. Uh, I mean, does the clamshell pillow count? Cause I quilted that and then turned it into a pillow. Uh, have you, I've got many crumb pieces. I wonder, is it, is, is, that would work. Oh, uh, damn. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what you were talking about for. Oh, for the one for the cutout? <clears throat> as long as you stabilize it onto something half decent, I think you'd be all right. Uh, all right, so we got one, two. We need to do the third one between the next rows to make that. 46, so we'll use the short buddies here, because these are not 14 and a half, are they? No, no, they're not. Mm -mm. Oh, uh, <clears throat> pillow stuffing, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I was, I was a little lost there. I have lots of tiny pieces left over from this project. I like a lot, a lot of that. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> another project. Another project calling your name. Another project. It's never be the same. Another project. Oh, really? Toss it all over the place. Oh, I have my oh, tears. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Saved. Ooh, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 All right, now let's do this one on the bottom. And that's two rows done. Look at us go. Kicking button, taking names. I don't have the, aw. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, they do. The library has a lot of facilities free of charge 
maybe not the copying part, but just saying. I highly recommend the library before going anywhere else. They got state-of-the-art copying machines. Are you kidding me? And it's probably only like five or 10 cents a copy instead of like 25 cents a copy at the big store because the library is government funding and it's not looking for your cash to make sure the doors stay open. So, you know, in that rate, they can give a little bit more back to the community. So check first, you can always call. Call around, see who's cheaper. What I have a tendency to do is I get plain piece of paper and because my monitor is a certain size, I'll go and I'll look at an image and as long as it's not trademarked, I'll put it up on my monitor, take some uh, one-sided tape and tape it the edge around on a couple of corners to make sure it's stable and then take a little pencil or a nice light marker that it's not going to stain through the paper right away and stain my monitor and do a little trace around and bibbidi bobbidi boo done done like dinner like chicken dinner <laughs> done like dinner like chicken dinner I don't have chicken in it no. I don't know having what are we having okay now that's two rows together with sashing on the top well I guess it would be a border on the top but we'll just call it sashing for now because we don't know if we're gonna add another one and then this one. So let's press these two bitty bobs together and get the other bitty bobs together. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Sweet. This is going to be adorable. Even if it was just this size, I think it would be cute for as a wall hanging. What? Hi, Mr. Clive. You didn't get enough lovings? Is that it? Oh, no. Oh no, Mr. Cave. Hmm? Is your human busy? Hmm? Is your familiar busy? He's busy helping me. That's why I was loving you extra. Oh, it's so cute. Loving the giraffes. Loving the giraffes. Mm. Thank you, Linda, for subscribing. There uh, we go. Let's check that out. What you doing, buddy? There we go. Isn't that cute? Super cute. Now, need to add the next row, which is going to be two, but we'll put the foliage over on the left-hand side. Put the foliage on the left-hand side. Okay, let's do this because it's bright. And then we need two, and I like this one. And then... And then we have three for the last one. Will you do the pink and that? Here, let's see this one off to the side. Is that the, yeah, that was the wackadoodle one. We'll leave that one for last. Um, two, three, and one, two. Okay, so here and here. Here, let's do the orange first. I like the orange first, there we go. So here. And here, and here, and then we'll do this one, and this one. Okay, put this one together. Oh, thank you, Anna. Appreciate that. That's very helpful. I have a hard time enlarging images, so you don't always work for me. I always get uh, pops help. Uh, 
Uh, I like the new video of him. He seems more himself and more free thinking. Oh, was that the latest block of the month? Is that what you're talking about? Or who are you talking about? Oh, with Rob? Yeah, he's changed his, from man sewing. He's now sewing with Rob or something. I, I, he did, but I don't think he does that anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was really weird. I noticed that too. His name had changed. I noticed it wasn't, wasn't man sewing anymore. I'm like, oh, what happened? Makes you wonder, you know, when people can't stick to their own label, right? All right, row three coming together, row three coming together. Okay, and someone did ask me about my machine and the stitches per inch and everything else like that and why I didn't have it on full throttle. Well, the reason why I don't have it on full throttle, I got it about midway, is because the camera shakes behind me. When uh, we are not filming, that sucker is all the way to the edge. And like the socks say, pedal to the metal, baby. <laughs> So yeah, if it's just me here and I know I'm just sewing and piecing and piecing and piecing, it's all the way. Boop, 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 boop. It's super fast. I love it. But unfortunately, it makes the wall hanging behind, or the wall unit behind me shake, in which that is what the camera is propped up against over my shoulder. So, and then zoomed in so you can see what's going on here. It's the only reason why I have it on like medium slow mode, I call this. Medium slow. Uh, I guess now that Jenny hires all those daughter-in-laws to work for her, she had to cut the, somewhere who knows she makes tons of money with that huge offer she's on the Forbes list did you not see her she was actually the last months on the, the Forbes list so yep yep I did see that well, good for her I mean they came from like food stamps so good for them they turned themselves around um, they made something of themselves uh, and, and and didn't let anybody else dictate what was going to happen to them in their lives and how they were going to live it so Ours was not the case. It was more of the fact I was I was kind of doing this already and Pop said we should put you on YouTube and I laughed and I said no one's gonna watch. Are you kidding me? And he says I think you'll be surprised. And I said okay, prove me wrong. And so here we are, <laughs> three and a half years later. <laughs> Pardon? I, I, I can't hear you. It's very foggy from one room to the next. <laughs> His, his, old, his old ears can't hear, sorry. <laughs> Such a poop disturber, isn't he? Always causing trouble. He's supposed to be working. So and that's how uh, we are here and you are here and I am here. It's because of the pop behind the camera. <laughs> Somebody's getting lost in translation. Can't hear you. <laughs> Static. <laughs>
Alright, this one little moother. Now we need another little moother. This one, and then just one on the side, and I think that gives us enough for row three. And then we can put row two together, I mean four together, and sew them all together and see what we have. And that's going to be our project. Well, you are amazing, you brighten many day and uh, up, and I for sure am so grateful. Make the videos. Aw, thank you. Thank you. And that's, you know, that was, I think that was David's idea of the, you know, and, and Heli of the Mafia group. That was both of their, their, their shared idea to have a place where we can all kind of share our um, love and passion for fur babies, what's going on for dinner or projects we're working on. It doesn't necessarily always have to be quilting. You know, if you got, like Lois has had a whole garage uh, shop being built and garage being built for her. Like that was amazing to see the process wise from the digging to the cement being laid to the uh, you know walls getting built up and you know windows arriving like that's so exciting and we're all living vicariously through her so and it's nice to be able to share that joy because we all hang out in the same chat once a week unless it's the Thursday <laughs> then you know it's you know twice a week like it was this week <laughs> Here we go, row three. Not, that should be 46 -y. that's a little long on one side. That's okay. We'll make her fit. My golly, we'll make her fit. Look cute, doesn't it? I like mixing the colors. The pinks, the oranges, I went all crazy. I went, why not? Who's to say? Who's to tell me that all the drafts have to be the same? Nobody. Even the pattern told me to mix and match, so I am listening. I know it's very rare, <laughs> but I am listening. <laughs> what, Mr. Magoo? What? What are you doing? You're causing a ruckus. Tisket a tusket, you're causing a ruckus. <laughs> We're gonna come visit Sassolet. You'll get one better. You get pictures with us. <laughs> And the story of a couple of Canadians came down. <laughs> they got all crispy. <laughs> they cook. <laughs> to go to places and people's houses and share my favorite recipes you know so hey like, you know we, like, we'll sew a project together but then you know let's go make something for dinner let's, what are we making let's uh let's get creative here what's happening baby lock destiny two two years ago the koala cat oh i love the koala cabin aren't they neat on the machine mm, very nice very nice I mean, if you can call a dining table your own, I think you're, 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 you're lucky. Or, you know, a nice desk space or something like that.
in one of the, I guess when we moved from uh, here to Calgary, I guess in 2004, uh, Pop found a, a house that had like a nice uh, space in the basement or bottom zone of it, it was I guess ground level, uh, where we could have like a computer sewing room sort of thing, right? <laughs> and we built this big huge shape desk, like we built it ourselves with wood and so we could have lots of space and I could have lots of space and so on. But I couldn't sew downstairs when he was trying to work because I'd make the table bounce and he's trying to hit the keyboard. <laughs> So we had to change it to moving it up to the kitchen table. Because <laughs> I was always sewing beside him and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll just go upstairs and sew. You you work, you let me know. <laughs> Every time I was sewing, the table was bouncing. Swim, Gwenny? I'm, I'm quite a good swimmer. I was a lifeguard way back in my teeny days. That's why I love to swim. I love to swim. It's my favorite form of fun activity in the water. I have uh, yet to try kayaking or what is it the sail no the with the board where you can get on the board and and paddle what's that called i've yet to try that that seems like it would be kind of fun as long as i can bring like a cooler and an umbrella and <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, I think it's looking cute. All right, so we'll add the three for the bottom. And see there, that takes us. Oh, drop this piece. Oh. I might need to add some more. All right, so we have more foliage. That's okay, we can always, we can always do stuff with that here. There. Unfortunately, that is not wide enough to be one, two, three, four, five. We could, could substitute. But I want to trim it off, so we'll 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 work it. We'll work it. Um, actually, what if we do? What if we do? No, no, we'll do it this way. I like this way. One second. Can you mute the camera, please? Or mute the microphone, please.
Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I was thinking about doing is maybe putting another two on the one row, the fourth row, and then maybe leaving one for the last row and bulking it out with the gray material. What do you guys think? And then that way I can put him here, like him here, and him there, and then we can add some, what do we think of that? Does that look, that, would that look all right? To me, so we can make it five? Is that gonna, does that make any sense? Can you guys see how that was work out in my mind? Because we can always add big chunks of gray. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I kind of like that idea. Yeah? Or do the one up here and the two on the bottom because we just had two or did we just have, yeah, we just had two. So maybe do the one with the negative space and then the two down here sort of thing. There we go, I like that better. Okay, so we need to figure out once we get the little borders in between here, what these spaces are gonna be and then here and what those spaces are gonna be because of course it's gonna be a bit different because I don't have enough. Okay, all right, done deal, Bobbies. We're gonna make it happen. All right, so put that, that, and this, and that, and this. Awesome. <laughs> I think that should work too. But yeah, put the one in the middle though. And then the maybe it doesn't look like the two and two. So it looks like two, one, two sort of thing. I don't know. And that way it makes it a little bit longer and I can bulk out with the material. Like I said, when I make the second one, uh, I can always grab another white or a gray or something else. What? What? What is your dilemma? What? Wow, life is rough. Uh oh, here comes Lofi. Come here. Come here, we'll get both of you on camera. Holy moly, I think that'll be it first. Come on, come on, so. come up here. Come on, up, 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 up. See, there we go, hi. These are the critters. This is Sophie Lofi and Mr. Clyde Magoo. And they get along, don't they? You wanna kiss them? Oh, you wanna kiss them? No, you're not, are you? <laughs> and these are our fur babies and we love them so much. Mm -hmm. We do, we do. Mind your bums. Scoot, scoot, you two. <laughs> Those are the fur babies. Sophie Lovie and Clive Magoo. Feedy, fatty, fody, foo. Mr. Clive. He's cute, and uh, and because it's been so nice out, and he's been out, and he's been enjoying himself outside, he hasn't been waking us up at four and five and three and whatever in the morning. So, I mean, he was waiting for me at six ten when I came out of the bedroom and then went to the bathroom, and uh, he was sitting there waiting, <laughs> like stalker much. <laughs> Not even Sophie was stalking me. He was there waiting, watching in the dark and because he's black you could just barely see the shape of him in the shadows so you're like is that a toy on the floor or is that the cat <laughs> not quite sure mm -hmm. oh congrats tanya i don't know what we're congrats in about but i'm gonna congrats you too grandmother Woohoo! you go girl well, go your family, <laughs> really. <laughs> I don't think you were involved, so. But congratulations, that's awesome. Nothing better than we little ones to snuggle. And when they start to cry, you get to get back. <laughs> You're like, here you go, this is yours, belongs to you.
Do another one on this side. Do you ever eat in the, huh? What? Uh, love this lower pace. Hi, Mom, I'm not doing so well. Oh, I'm sorry, Carol. I twisted my knee. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Oh, I'm. I am notorious for my left knee not, I, I don't think it ever healed right. It was about four years ago, I went out to the chicken coop and I stepped wrong and I twisted my knee and my ankle at the same time, but it did more damage to my ankle in my mind because it was hurting worse than I did to my knee. But of course it was a whole, the whole, the whole leg was hurting. And, and it's never been the same since. And I'll step wrong and you've heard me doing the live stream. And you're like, oh, oh, ouch, that was my knee. And it's the, it's the left knee. It seems to like lock into place or pop out of place. Uh, I've had it ha happen a couple times on crossing guard where I've, I've been stopped and I couldn't like, you know, I couldn't like get back across the street for a second because it feels like my knee is locked. And that's no fun. That's no fun at all. So I'm sorry you have a bummed knee. We are wishing you healing thoughts, Miss Carol. Oh, it's, it's, that's worse. It's the worst. Okay, so here's the two by two, or the two foliage with, with the one giraffe. And we'll see what this measures out to. And of course we need 46 in the end. So uh, we have 28, so minus a half an inch off of that. So it's 27 and a half. So 27 and a half uh, minus, or what's 46 and a half minus 27 and a half is some numbers. <laughs> Who's doing the math? Come on, someone do the math. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So maybe 20 by 20, 20 by... If we want to do it on one side, but if we're going to split it, then we should do like 10 and a half by 10 and a half by 14 and a half, right? Makes sense, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. I love to be corrected. Okay, keep that there to make sure we're all on the same track first. And then we'll go and we'll do this one here. Mm. Thank you, first time watching. My name is Sophia and she is, <laughs> oh. So I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, black cat and like you're Mr. Clive, good to catch you all live. Well, hello, I'm happy you're here. Happy you're here. Hanging out with us crazies. Well, I speak for myself, not really for anybody else. <laughs> if you're crazy, then welcome to the club. Dibby dub dub, welcome to the club. Starting to see some networks. So. Uh oh, so we should cut her off. Okay, apparently Pop says there's some network spiking, so hopefully that's we're still live streaming okay. We only got a little bit to go. I want to get there. Come on, I want to get there. <laughs> um, I am going to teach you how to make that seahorse. Watch next Saturday, Vicky. It's here. I have the pattern. It was going to be, well, was. It actually was, was. Weekend project. But apparently the 40 minutes I spent filming and the probably three hours I took prepping did not, um, suffice with the camera so it didn't really like it and hence it was corrupted but here's the pattern it's ten dollars 
It's Elaine Perez from summercrafter.com. And if you would love to sew along with me, I would love for you to sew along with me in the process. Uh, I do happen to have a lot of greens and blues, as you guys well know from my scrappy busting from last year. I still have lots of those. This one, I'm thinking more on the pink and purple side, not so much of the yellow. Maybe a little bit of hint of yellow, but not much. But definitely greens and blues for these guys. So but I think pink or purple for that one. Definitely. But yeah, next Saturday. You betcha, baby. We're on it, Vicki. We're on it. So we're making up for yesterday's video corruption by doing the whole quilt via live stream for probably two or three, or, let's say three or four weeks, just to be on the safe side. See, uh, one week to build out each unicorn and then another week to build out some of the waves and then maybe even maybe even another week to uh, put it all together. So let's say maybe four or five. Let's, let's, let's put it that way, okay? Uh, no, you won't see it yet because uh, the video was, like I said, this video was corrupted, so what it would have been in the video, but you will see it. Uh, all the links will be available for next week uh, unless Pop decides to share it ahead of time. But if you go look at summercrafter.com, Elaine Perez, it is the, what is it called? It's called a certain name here. Hold on. Watercolor Seahorses. Watercolor Seahorses by Elaine Perez. So have at her. Information is in your hands. Run with it. You, did I say unicorn? I didn't mean to say, did I say unicorn? <laughs> if I said unicorn, I'm sorry. Seahorse. <laughs> I don't even know where I got unicorn from. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, bye, Nadine. Oh, she loved us. She's gone. Bye, Nadine. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye, Nadine. Why'd you have to go away? Bye, Nadine. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sound like I'm singing a Grease song movie. <laughs> bye, Nadine. <laughs> It's just grape juice. <laughs> I wish I could say it was something exciting, but it's not. <laughs> it's something exciting, but it's not. Sorry to disappoint, but it's not. Can we make them all? I don't see why not, Sue. I'm going to make mine scrappy. I'm going to try and find a common background, though. And the, for the amount of background, you're going to need... Uh, what's it say here? What's it say here? <laughs> uh, yards, light, neutral fabric for background, two and a half yards. So grab a couple extra, maybe grab a yard or a yard extra, say, say three and a half yards. And then that way it gives you a chance to bulk out stuff when you want to. So, but it's very charm square friendly, uh, layer cake friendly, um, three packs of mini charms and one pack of five charm squares from some collection or same collection or one layer cake or a scratchy option. Use 101, two and a half inch squares and 27 coordinating three inch squares. So three fat quarters of coordinating solids, three, two thirds yard of coordinating print for waves. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, what is that red, white is made of grapes? Oh, <laughs> is that red, white? No, it's not it's just grape juice. <laughs> Pomegranate cranberry grape juice, actually. Or cranberry juice. Not grape juice. Apologies. Cranberry juice. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Pat. 
I'm sorry, Pat. Actually, I made a post the other day. You know, don't be uh, don't be regretful that you you know you've gotten older and you're lived with age because there's a lot of people that never make it there. So, and that's a, you know exactly what happened to my mother-in-law. She didn't even make it to 60. She before, you know, when she was in, her, I think she was 58 or 57 or something like that. Like, and that's not a long time on this earth. That's not a long time to to know w what you want to do and 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 you know, and and who you are. I think we all continuously discover that from, from day one, and especially as we're getting older and things change and our children change and our lives change and priorities change. You know, my mom has made it to 74 so far, knock on wood. You know, and that's, that's 12 more years I've had with my mom than Pops has had with his mom and, and Munchkin's had with his Nana. That is super cute. I love that pink one there. Love that pink one. All right, now we need the two measurements of the gray pieces to go in between. Besides cutting a two, I think it's two and a half. Got one for the top. Yeah, so we'll need three. So we need one, two, three of the width of fabric times two and a half. Doo -doo -doo. And that'll be for the bottom pieces because we'll use these little extender bits to make them up to the 46. <laughs> Two. And three. Okay. Now let's do one, two, three. Uh, so one on either, either of these and then we'll cut our bigger chunks that we need. Uh, da -da. You know, I'm happy for every gray hair. I'm happy for every wrinkle and, you know, may not be happy with the extra poundage, but whatever, I'm happy. I'd rather be fat and happy than be a skinny, skinny witch. So I'm um, not saying that all skinny people are witches. I'm just saying in, in myself, in my, I'd rather be, I'd be the way that I am. I wouldn't change me for anything right now. I'm happiest right here, right now. Too, Pam, we weren't even sure we were going to film because she's not even too far from us. She's only like a town over. She's in the town of Erin. And uh, uh, we weren't even sure if we were going to be filming today because it seems to be uh, issues all over the darn place. It's not been fun. It's not been fun at all. No, no, it hasn't. It's been quite annoying. All right, let's press these guys and then we'll trim them at our 46 in a bit. So, in other words, be proud. Be proud of every wrinkle and every aches and pains. There's a lot of people don't get a chance to feel that, so think of it in a different way. So we got 46 and a half here, here. Okay, so that's the bottoms done. We can do that there. Now we need to figure out. So if we put it 10 in a bit, 10 in a bit, we could trim. Yeah, so 10 by 14 and a half. Ten and a half by fourteen and a half. So 
was 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Stick this on this side. Stick this on this side. And we should be okay. Mine is freezing from time to time. Not just, oh, I'm sorry. I know the internet is just kind of crappy today. We got them coming tomorrow between four and six. That's all we could do. We've tried, we've tried to improve. We've tried to get people out here to help with the internet because we've had a couple of issues and Pop hasn't been happy with it. And he's like, oh, I don't know if we can stream today. And I said, let's just give it a try. And some days it's been okay. Sometimes it's been slow for you guys. And we apologize, but we'd rather have it be sometimes a little slow and sporadic than not at all like we don't want to call it until we have like then there's no internet right we'd rather try and put whatever we can out there with our best effort right we don't want to let you guys down either and we don't want to let us down because we look forward to this this is our you know this is our saturday gig we get we prep for this from friday night on We're like hanging out with you guys, talking with you guys, getting to know each other and and encouraging each other and you know and condolences and knowing that you know the love of the family of the mafia group of the mom and pop quilt shop is always there. Chicago, Chicago, I wanna go to Chicago. Maybe sometime. Okay, a little bit. I'd rather have a little bit long, a little bit too short. Looks like we need to cut. Uh, three quarters of an inch off each side. Okay. Okay, I'd rather have too much than too little. Too much than too little. Okay, let's give that a press and then we'll stick it to the bottom row. So we get its top line on. Oh, it's gonna so cute. Yeah, it's gonna be five rows. Where are you? The pin in there. Five rows, 11 drafts. Okay. Aw, thanks, Hazelette. That was all Pop's idea. We wouldn't have ever done them either. You can all either send the clapping his way or <laughs> send the cursing his way. <laughs> it's all Pop's idea. That's up to you. <laughs> you do what you gotta do for you. And he's the one who encourages me to, to continue to do it. So there's enough crazies out there that talk to themselves. They don't need me. <laughs> He's like, oh, I think they do. <laughs> I think they do need you. <laughs> they need somebody different. And that I am. Okay, let's pin this one on here. So we do the two rows at the bottom. The bitty bitty bottom. The bitty bitty bottom. The bottom. The bitty 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 bottom. <laughs> exactly, claps for Pop. He deserves it. All the time and money that he's put in so far, like uh, some crazy numbers, man. Let me tell you, trying to get all this equipment and everything set up and be proper with software and everything like that. It's really important, right? You know, all of the aspects of it.
Thank you. We appreciate it. We love all you guys too. You take your time to spend with us and you click that subscribe button and that like button and you hang out with us on Saturdays and look forward to our videos. It greatly uh, makes us feel appreciated and, and loved. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you everybody for your time. You could be playing Candy Crush right now. <laughs> Just think. Okay, we'll give that a press before we add the bottom one. This one was supposed to go to here, right? Yes, it was. Okay, you got it in the center. Okay. Well, hopefully he's reading that there, Robin, so he'll answer you. Seems awfully chatty in that back room. Not a lot of work going on, a lot of chat going on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am too. Be nice to see what May looks like. Hopefully we will get on that this week and you will have it for your weekend project. Hopefully, if I don't corrupt the video ahead of time. Because I'm so corrupt. Oh, I've been so without Bob in the whole row. <laughs> Deep, calming oh, breaths. Grunt, grunt, grunt. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ugh. Dang it. <sighs> yeah, exactly, Nancy. <laughs> I got like three stitches in and the rest is not. <laughs> it happens to all of us. It's okay. I thought it was ahead. Clearly not. <laughs> so far behind. <laughs> Snaggly bottoms. Um, I hear the chimes. Do you hear the chimes? They're the calming chimes. I right, do this again, but like, what's that thread, Kay? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, just a suggestion. Let, let's check, check, make sure it's working. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's got, it's got thread. It's good. Yay, me. Making progress. Yay, me. Making progress. Yay, me. Some days <laughs> are easier than others. It's been, it's been kind of like one of those weekends so far. Well, you were really, really, really looking forward to the weekend and then nothing kind of like, but it's been like pooped on you since.
<laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm so far behind. I thought it was in front. <laughs> you got that right, Linda. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> All right, now I didn't, did I even sew this one? Oh my gosh, I thought this was done. Oh, it missed out on the halfway of this one. Oh, okay. <sighs> I'll be happy when this project's over. <laughs> I'm sure we all feel the same about some projects. This is, this would be better with them. Or at least the end of this one. Okay, so that is row three, and we've already got the line underneath for this one, right? So let's line this buddy up, and then we'll work on the last row. Oh, whew, I tell you. Worked myself up an appetite now, but wasn't hungry before. I'm kind of hungry now. Let's work. <laughs> it's been very trying, Valerie Gale. <laughs> it really has. <laughs> Let's see, this one and anything with an angle, like the uh, blue scrappy with the uh, parallelogram and the diamond shape with the uh, Lone Star. That's equal to... Um, Quilting frustration, maybe. I don't want to call it complete frustration because it's not, it's still fun. But when things don't go the way you want them to, <laughs> could get a little hostile of the guys going on. <laughs> right? Mine didn't give me a warning. It doesn't give me a warning like Nomi used to. Hello, Kia B. How you doing, darling? Mr. Tech Guy's doing cross. Stitching. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. There is many patience in being a cross stitcher. <laughs> that I can attest to. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, I'll show you what I got going on so far. So far? Get it so far-y? <laughs> Draft joke. <laughs> And then we got one more row. So it's gonna be really long. Perfect. Perfect for a nice wall hanging lap quilt. Isn't that cute? Oh, my Jesus. I might just keep this. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> one more row to go. One more row to go. Feedy, feedy, fighty, bo. It's one more row to go. All right. So if we have. 36 and we need 46, so that's five. Let's do five and a half by 14. Deal that up, dudes. Duty woods. All right. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq and a half. Is it cinq and a half? Is that how you say it? Cinq and a half? <laughs> What's the proper word? Oh, we only need one of those. Don't cut two. Sink and a half. So you only half sunk in the water or you just totally sunk in the water? 14. 
Oh, aren't they awesome, Gwenny? I love ours. I love ours. Well, I got to give it away. <laughs> Today was a very busy week. Or this week was a very busy week. I hope to catch up next week. All right, so there's that there. And you over here, and then we need one for the bottom. Wasn't this guy? Oh, there we go. There's our dude. There's our dude for the bottom. And then we could add another on the sides if we so wish it. Or we could do like a scrappy border. We could fold over the back to the front, make it bigger. There's so many options. Here, maybe I'll put this in the small camera so you can at least see that if it comes up. Cute! Oh, it's adorable. Yeah, thumbs up, please. There's Maxie. You tell him, Helly. <laughs> thumbs up. One of you monkeys out there keeps giving him a thumbs down. If you want to give a thumbs down, give him an explanation. I'd prefer to know why or what you did not like about the video. Or do I? Do I? I don't know. Do I care? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll put this bottom row on. That's what I care about right now. Okay, what is what is that? Yana. Qu'est-ce que c'est, Miss Kiabi? Tell us the story of me. Huh? Yeah, me Nia. What the heck? What is it? Me. Yeah. Okay. Still. No clue. Ding. Okay. All right, we're gonna add the last band to the bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it may mean it, but thank you, Kibi. Apparently Munchkin had to explain it to me too. Let's put me in the corner. <laughs> On the right side? Yes, it is. Okay, it's on the bottom. Wow, holy moly. That's a lot. I have a beautiful dragon that I did for Pop, and we need to get it properly framed, though. It's been in a very poor, poor frame for years, and it's uh, it's kind of sad the way it, sit, it sits right now. It's actually, uh, it needs to really get um, shown the proper um, framing it needs, so. Um, we'll try and sort that out when next Michaels has a frame sale on. Because <laughs> I worked hard on that dragon. Many, many years of work on it, and uh, it needs to be framed and, and, and looked at. Everybody to enjoy. So I made it for Pop. Now, sorry guys, I was trying to keep it under two, but we're not there. But I want to finish the draft, so stick around if you want. Don't if you don't want, that's up to you. No hard feelings. Okay, so there's the last row. Let's give that a little press. And then we'll add it to our other ones we got going on here, and that'll be our quilt top. I'll be our flimsy done. Hi, Mr. Clive. What you doing, Mr. Kitty Cat Coco? Hi. Meow. What you doing? Want to hang out with giraffes? They're bigger than you. Mm -hmm. Oops. 
Whoopsies. All right, we go here, here, and here. One more seam and we are done. Unless you want to put a bigger one on, it's up to you. Uh-oh. Japan. That's gonna, that's gonna hurt on the foot if I find it later. So let's grab it now. Oh. No, I don't want you playing with it either, Mr. Kitty Cat. When we first, when we first moved the um, sewing machine out here to like its own little station sort of thing, the cat was always on the desk and he was pull out the, 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 the pins with his teeth and we'd leave them all over the floor. And we're like, oh, it's very hazardous trying to go to the bathroom in the night past, trying to pass the zone without, you know, getting a needle in the foot or a pin in the foot. I don't know whether he was just mad that we were, I was taking over some space he thought was his or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I hate to my pins the hard way. Yeah, so do the boys too. <laughs> I usually hear about it in some form or another. I'm considering done. We'll give a measurement what it's gonna be and it'll, I'll quilt it up. Let's probably see it via a long arm Wednesday. Kind of just doing some free motion fun on it. Maybe just using a nice light gray or a white thread and just going, going to town. All right, let's give it a press and see what it ends up. It's a great size, it's a great personal quilt, I think, considering it's 46, and you can always slap another border on it if you so wish it, so. Very nice. All right, turn those off, because we are done with them. Put this off to the side. And here's some lovely, this is the binding fabric. Here, let's put that back in the small camera so you can really see that. That beautiful gray, the Jack's gray, that is the binding fabric that will be to this quilt. And we will probably put a nice white back to the background of it, okay? All right, here we go. So it's 46 by, 46 by 82, 46 by 82. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I made it. A lot of work, just saying. <laughs> but that is so cute. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with it. <laughs> and it's good it's this big. I didn't think I wanted to make the 60 by 90. Like that just seems like a bit much, right? So uh, I think this one will go well. I think it would be lovely. It'll go lovely. Awesome. Thank you everybody for joining me on this very much lovely adventure on the giraffe. Hold on. Safari Park Quilt Kit by Monique Jacobs. There we go, okay, check it out, check her out. She's got beautiful quilts, oh, 67 by 90, sorry. Uh, that's what the uh, finish was, but one, two, three, four, five. So we're really only missing a row to get to the 90. That's not bad. And like one off the side, that's minimal. 
All right, so we are gonna be doing the seahorses for uh, a couple of weeks. So bust your scraps, get your two and a halfs together, your three inches together, and a very nice background to do all of them, or even just a wall hanging like that. And I'd be happy to craft along with you as we're doing the, um, the seahorses, okay? So thank you everybody for liking, watching, and subscribing, and checking us out on Patreon. And we greatly appreciate your company and your time that you give us every single day by watching our videos. So thank you very much. Big hugs from us at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop and enjoy the rest of your weekend, okay? Happy giraffes!